Hi guys. Okay, so I'm always doing videos and I never look at the camera. So I decided, let me look at you guys and say hi. And Happy New Year. Alright, so let's talk about my name first. Because a lot of people have asked me, what's up with your name? <laughs> Not in a bad way, in a good way. They just want to know. So Rez C. Liz is my tag on my profile, meaning my name. So, Rez means resin. Liz is for Lisa, because my name is Lisa. And the C actually means with. So, I'm in the medical field, and a C with a slash over it means with. So, that's an abbreviation. So, a lot of medical pers personnels, we do a lot of abbreviations because we have little spaces to get a lot of content in, so we abbreviate everything. So, res, C, Liz means resin with Liz. Or, if you don't remember that, you could always say, well, we're going to resin, let's see Liz. So, here we are, let's see Liz. So, all the subscribers that I have, thanks for stopping by, thanks for giving me the love. Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for giving me the thumbs up when you give me the thumbs up and stopping by and watching my videos. The new people that are stopping by and watching this video and seeing me for the first time. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by and giving me some attention. I'm trying to grow my little channel. I got 100 plus subscribers and I'm trying to do my thing. Today, we're going to do coasters but these coasters have a lip so let me show you what they look like i have an old coaster here my daughter made for me about almost two years ago so this is a coaster right it comes out of this mold and it has a lip so i like the coasters that have a lip because usually i drink cold drinks and when you place the cold drink with the ice or whatever, the cup tends to sweat. So when it sweats, it just lands in the coasters. The regular coasters that are flat, round, or flat, square, um, after a while, the liquid goes over the side. So I like the ones with the lip. So we're going to do these. Um, I also have an update on those shaker molds that I purchased that are in the shape of a coffee cup or a tea cup. So I completed the whole set. Here's what they look like. They have liquid in them. The liquid is baby oil. Right? So I showed them in a previous uh, video, but I want to show you the actual mold because I didn't show that. So this is the cup you call cup of coffee or tea mug and you pour in here right pour in here and you pull it out and you have an empty shell and then this is the back to it so it's real thin as you can see right and you'll pour your resin in here and what I tried to do I tried to dome it right so when you peel this side of it is going to go completely flush to this. And it has like a little raised section, right? When you pull it out, when you pull the mold out. And you're going to put this on top of here. And it's going to come snug together. And it's going to seal. And it's going to make the complete mug, right? At the bottom, I don't know if you can see it. You can't see it, but at the bottom right here, it has like a little notch. And that notch gives you the space to actually fill up these. So all you have to do is insert a little piece in here like so. And then you squeeze and you fill them up. So I made the whole complete set. So here's... The two-piece mug set. Then it comes with the stand. So you could place your four in it. And it also comes with this 
particular mold. And this mold, um, you can make it for tea or coffee. So these are coffee beans, there's sugar cubes, and these could be lemon or lime. These little circle ones, I have no clue what they are. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the seeds to these? <laughs> I don't know, because you know sometimes when you squeeze, the seeds jump up in your stuff unless you have little lemon squeezer and then you're good. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know what they're for. I like these. These is cool. So, I embellish a lot of everything that I do. So, here's the piece, the stand. I made it. It sat in it, but it didn't sit flush because this bottom piece is higher than the actual uh, stand. So, what I did was I put bumpers on it. I put four of them, right? And when I sit my mugs in there, they're no longer flipping over and wiggly and all of that stuff. They sit in there while they're on the counter. They sit in there. They don't move. They don't fall over. Nothing. Because now they have enough space to sit in. Then I bump in the table because this is flush with the table. Because I put the little feet, the bumpers, if you could see. Right? Okay. So, now that I got that together, I put this over here. Oh, don't fall, please. All right. So, I already mixed up my resin. I did eight ounces. I figured I'm going to fill them up halfway. I'm not going to fill them up all the way because I'm going to put a back to it, a different color, so it could bring out the other colors that I'm working with. So the colors that I'm doing is um, this alcohol brown, right? It's not going to be dark, dark, dark. It's going to be translucent. It's going to be see-through. I'm going to use this white. This is the only white that I have found that is real close to being a solid white. Um, it's from Unicorn Art. It's satin white. It's a magical mica pure pigment, right? And it doesn't look, when you look at it, it looks like really white powder, right? I don't see any, let me try to put the light on it. I don't see any, any shine like, you know, the other micro powders, they have that pearl essence. They don't, it, you don't see it in the powder itself. Now, when you mix it, it's pearly like, it has that little, it has that little shine to it, but it's really white. It, it, it's a nice white. I like it. I bought me two other jars because I've had a hard time finding stuff. Oh, gloves. <laughs> I have eczema, so I don't like to keep nothing on my hands. You know, the alcohol, if I have dry patches in my hand or maybe dry skin and it cracks and the alcohol gets in it, alcohol burns when you have any kind of cut or anything in your hands. So I keep these gloves on and then I put my nitrile gloves on top of these because the nitrile gloves make me sweat and all that. I don't like it so. I always have some kind of gloves on. So this way, when you mix it, I swear, you know what I think of? I think of fondant and I think of marshmallows. Because when you swirl it, that's what it looks like. So I love this. <laughs> and we're going to put gold flakes. I like these gold flakes. These gold flakes are a darker, richer gold flakes than the regular ones. Let me show you the regular ones. See the difference? I know there's a lot of glare. But it's a slight darkness to this one than to this one. So I like this one. I like this one. This one is cool. But this one, I really like it. And then I have another one that's a little bit darker than this one. Let me show you that one. But I can't find it anymore. They, um, See how dark that is? That, they're almost the same. But this one is a little darker. And this company, of course, I like it. They went out of business. 
I'm so upset. And they come with this rich red and this big, rich, 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 rich blue. No, I did not say B-I-T-C-H. I made a mistake. Rich. Now. Okay. So we're going to get ready and we're going to start doing these coasters. Because if not, my stuff is going to get hot because it's in a container. I'm going to put this over here. We're going to switch the camera. We're going to put you up here so you can see what I'm doing. Hold on. 